Here's a simple example to demonstrate the law of large numbers. Again, the law of large numbers states that if we do an experiment over and over and over again, the results will line up with the probabilities that we expect before we run the experiment. It's similar to one of the ways that we define probability. For instance, we could define the probability of flipping a coin and getting heads as 50% by saying that if we did this over and over and over again, the proportion of heads that we would get would be 50%. Here though, we'll illustrate this law. So consider this experiment. Let's roll a six-sided die over and over and over again and take the average of the results that we get. For instance, for the first 10 results, we might get something that looks like this table, where we get a four the first time, then a two, then a one, then a six, and so on and so forth. If we average together these results, we get 3.3. If each number from one through six is equally likely, we expect to get the middle number as our average, while the middle of those six numbers is between three and four, so 3.5. So our expected result is 3.5 as the average for these rolls. So after 10 rolls, we've gotten pretty close. We got to 3.3, but the law of large numbers says if we do this more and more times, we should get closer and closer to the average of 3.5. Here's a graph of what happens if we roll the die even more times. After just a few rolls, there's some volatility in the results. After maybe the first 10 rolls, the average might be as low as three, but over time, as we roll the die more and more times, taking the average after each roll of all the rolls up until that point, slowly this average will start to creep back toward 3.5, toward the expected value. So it may diverge a little bit, but eventually over time, it's gonna settle down to that average. So the law of large numbers essentially says that in the long run, the average will be 3.5, even if in the short term, it isn't quite that. Over time, it'll settle down to that average. And over time, these results get closer and closer to the average that we expect. And that's the law of large numbers. That over time, the empirical probability that you observe approaches the theoretical probability that you calculate before ever running the experiment.